past eight years, there's been a quiet revolution brewing on the roads. This is Toyota's Prius. It's far and away the world's best-selling hybrid car, which means it runs on petrol and electricity. Depending on how you drive them, these hybrids can halve your petrol bills. But there's a man in California who wants to go one better and cut those costs in half again. So the arithmetic here is pretty simple. You and I could be paying just a quarter of what we're currently shelling out at the petrol pump. And this is the man, Felix Kramer. He reckons while hybrids are good, they could be better and save you even more. His company, CalCars, aims to turn green cars even greener. Toyota has built an amazing vehicle in the Prius and in the cars that are coming, following it using the same technology. I got involved in this initially because ever since I was a kid, I thought it was outrageous that buses and trucks and police cars would idle all the time just to keep the heater on in the car. And so when I heard about hybrid technology, I thought, this is fabulous. Felix's passion has created the Prius Plus essentially a customized Prius. It looks the same and has all the same features, but some tinkering has given it an extra dimension. Unlike conventional hybrids, Prius Plus can be recharged at home and driven longer using only electricity. The magic number is 30. That's how many miles the average American driver travels each day or around 50 kilometers. Felix aims to have a hybrid car which can cover the whole distance solely on electricity. But to understand the concept behind the CalCar Prius Plus, you first have to know how the factory model works. This is the drivetrain, which links an electric motor, a high-powered battery and a petrol engine. The electric motor is ideal for low speeds and for cruising. The petrol engine kicks in when heavy acceleration is required and when the battery is low on power. Full hybrids actually consume and produce electricity at the same time. When the car is coasting or braking, the electric motor works as a generator that charges the battery. It's called regenerative braking and it's been a big selling point for hybrid car makers. The fact you don't have to plug your car in at all. But Felix doesn't see that as a benefit at all. Far from it. The whole point of the Prius Plus is that you can plug it in. Toyota, Ford, GM and Honda are among the main players delivering hybrid cars. But their marketing tells them consumers equate plugging a car into a PowerPoint as clumsy and a drawback. Not according to Felix. It's not a question of worrying about plugging in. Plugging in becomes an opportunity. According to Toyota, to add the plug-in option will add to the cost of the car and people won't buy it. It's really going to come down to a cost-benefit. Are people going to pay 50% more for their car to get that environmental advantage or, or fuel saving? And this is the man CalCars hopes will solve that problem. Chief Engineer Ron Grimban. He's developing a much more powerful plug-in battery system that will be cheap, small and won't send the initial car purchase price through the roof. And the car works. Ron owns the prototype and he drives it every day, often just on electricity. It's very easy to charge overnight because you don't have to have high currents or anything. Uh, myself, I have um, solar panels on the house, and um, so they produce enough power to um, power the house and um, uh, charge my car up. Even with relatively primitive batteries, the modified Prius Plus has managed a range of 10 miles or 16 kilometers without using the petrol engine. It's still short of the magic 30 miles, but for Felix, that's only a matter of time. Now, if you don't go any more than 30 miles a, a day for a month or two, you might actually never go to the gas station. But then, if you want to take off for a mountain trip 200 miles away, you have the unli unlimited range of a hybrid, and uh, the first 30 miles of that trip will be clean electric, and after that, it'll be gasoline. So Felix's challenge, get the technology right, then challenge public perception. The car companies are already listening. And you do listen to people like Felix? I think we do. We get the Felixes, you know, even here in Australia, we get people ringing us all the time with great ideas. They're really passionate people, they've got great ideas. But it's really, how do you cater for all those good ideas and, or take all those on board? And I think that's the biggest challenge. 
In the short term, CalCars wants to market conversion kits to like-minded drivers. But Felix is always looking at the bigger picture. Our primary goal with CalCars is to encourage car companies to make the transition and start building plug-in hybrid vehicles. If they did that, we would be delighted and we would move on to other more advanced technologies as well, but we would have achieved our goal.